What's up, survivalist? Jason here. Today, I'm gonna retry the feather stick challenge. But this time, I'm gonna spice it up a bit. This time, I'm using fat wood. And let me tell you about this big honking piece of fat wood right here. This is literally just sitting on the ground. Like, seriously, just sitting on the ground. Just like that. Once I saw that yellow tinge on there, as you can kind of see, I just knew that would be great fat wood in there. And once I chopped into it a little bit, like seriously, just a little bit right here on the side, you could see the darkness of right there. There's just lines of dark, dark resin. So I cut into it a little bit. It got some good chunks off of it. I'm going to use, if I can find it again, yeah, here it is, this to do it. I already practiced a little bit, but I'll show you something amazing with this stuff. This isn't exactly, to see if it, it's kind of cheating actually for the feather stick challenge, but when you're lost in the woods, you could do the whatever you want to try to get a fire going. And let me show you this stuff. All right. Look how, oh, that's just smooth. You get the longest. Feathers. <laughs> just amazing and still using the same ferro rod but this time I'm using a good striker is off of a very cheap multi-tool but the sparks off of this are just amazing so it's not just the ferro rod it's your striker as well. Look at that. That was from like little right here. And now, that's gonna keep burning until it's extinguished. It's quite literally the best thing that you could do for making feather sticks. Not only does it just burn the feathers, the whole thing starts up. So why not just go with fatwood? Only reason that I think why not just go with fatwood is because if you don't have it in your area, let's put that out. It is it's like when you don't have it in your area, you can buy it off the internet or somehow make your own anything like that but when you have it like that it's gonna burn until you actually extinguish it so that's a longer starting period of uh, getting in a good fire going and with how much fat wood I have here I got plenty of fires but this alone will get your fire going in a snap. It's, I think it's the best thing that to do, you could do with uh, doing feather sticks. And even keeping maybe a long piece like that in your pack or something like that, getting a good, rich piece like that. Oh yeah. Here you go, PG. Smell it. <laughs> but, Man, I can't tell you enough how easy that was. That was, and that wasn't even close to it. Other like uh, trying it with this, I am gonna try to show a video of me actually trying to do this later on once I try to perfect it. But in the meantime, go with fatwood. 
that that stuff is just amazing especially this chunk right here it it surprised me and man go with fatwood and uh, I hope you go with fatwood as well I'm definitely sticking with fatwood with my feather sticks if I am ever in the wilderness or something like that I'll most likely have fatwood on me but it's just the best thing to have and it smells good like seriously oh, man. so uh don't get me wrong, I'm not, this isn't exactly the feather stick challenge. I know it isn't exactly a stick, but I made it into a stick, and I'm still going to try this. I've been practicing on this, but that's much easier, like seriously. But I'm still going to practice, and hopefully I can show a video of me actually lighting one for real on a real stick so uh, I hope you like this uh, leave a like if you did and go fatwood